There she is. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> That's a good shot. He's a really good hunter. <laughs> we didn't know he was going to do that. My name is Robert Schnell. I'm 59 years old. I'm currently the canine training instructor here at JFK Airport for the TSA, and I was a former NYPD canine handler during 9-11. I love having a dog as, as my partner, if it wasn't a pet. You're, you're attached to this animal for 24 hours. It's not like, you know, at the end of your shift, you know, you put the dog somewhere, the dog comes home with you, lives with you in your house. Atlas was my new partner. He was brand new. He was like fresh out of training. He was only less than, he was under two years old when 9-11 happened. He was there when both towers came down with me. You know, we, we ran for our lives after one of them. Uh, we dove under a truck for another one to, to survive it. Well, he definitely was pulling me. <laughs> he was making me run faster because when you have a German Shepherd, 90 pound German Shepherd, you're pulling you. He's kind of, you know, he's like, I'm going this way and he's, I'm just following him. He went right to work to have this as his first major event. He's like a rookie cop, you know, he was trial by fire, you know. Literally. These are what these dogs are trained to do. They're search and rescue, trained to look for live victims. I had the dogs, so I stayed outside until there was a plan to search for people and then search for Seven World Trade Center. He got a sixth sense like something's wrong here, and we left. And sure enough, I think it was 45 minutes to an hour later, that whole building came down, number seven. So, you know, collapsed. So luckily we left. We would have inside it. The first couple of weeks were tough on all the dogs. You know, they were put under a lot of stress. They were working long hours. They weren't getting any rest. They were put into some really uh, difficult situations. It was every day, 24-7. We had that hope of finding victims alive, but I think uh, a few days into it, we kind of realized that that wasn't going to be the case, you know. We're just going to try to recover people. Unfortunately, the dog doesn't have that luxury of having a mask because his nose is his greatest asset, so dogs breathing and, sm and smelling that pile and all the uh, smoke and toxic things that are coming out of that pile, which we didn't know at the time. We would uh, hydrate them, they'd put IVs in them, they'd flush their eyes, flush their ears, clean them up, they had vets there 24-7, which was a godsend for us. I mean, there were times where I could be barely keeping his eyes open. Like, he'd be standing up falling asleep, you know, just like us, we're trying to, the dog's not drinking coffee, he's just working on adrenaline, you know? He was a champion. He went up there and searched that, that rubble pile. The smoke's coming out and fire is coming out and he's climbing all over this debris, you know? He survived it. We stayed down there for the full nine months till May 30th. They said, this is no longer, we're gonna shut down Ground Zero, shut down the site, and, we're, and this, you know, this recovery is over. I think it definitely shortened his lifespan. The vet said, uh, you know, he's full of cancer and he had like a tumors and unfortunately one of them burst and he bled internally. I remember because it, it was Father's Day, so it was, a, it was a terrible day. Down there, you, we were attached to the hip every day. I spent more time with him than any of my family. Like us, he was going through a traumatic experience. I just consider myself lucky. I mean, I'm just real lucky. I pray every day that, you know, I'm not a victim to 9-11. I hope, I hope it doesn't happen, but I'm almost resigned to the fact that it could happen, you know, at some point. I miss all my, all my police dogs. I actually have all their ashes on home, on, you know, on, the, on a shelf. Good boy. My first dog in 1985 was Tim. He was imported from Germany. Then I got a second dog, Zeus. I was at the 93 World Trade Center with Zeus. I was deployed to Oklahoma City in uh, 1995. We were looked at like the premier search and rescue team, and everybody from in Oklahoma was like, oh, New York's here. They, they, they know how to handle this. I miss them all because they were all great partners. They all, they all protected me. They had my back, and that dog will give its life for you. I mean, if I could recreate all of them, I'd bring them all back, you know? They all did their jobs.